like Willy Wonka back there. Except without chocolate, it's just motors. Hey guys, Johnny Nerd out. Uh, custom e-bike converter. It's a cold, rainy day, so I'm gonna try to get in and get out of this, but still give you guys a comprehensive overview of this bike. So if you have a bike like this, or if you're curious about doing a bike like this, I'm gonna try to answer all the questions you have for it. So stick around. All right, so if you're new to this channel, I'm Johnny Nerdout. I'm a custom e-bike converter, builder, mechanic. I run a e-bike conversion shop behind these doors. It's full of magical things. People just throwing motors up and bathing in them and stuff. It's really cool. So anyways, I'm gonna go over this bike, what we did to it, kind of give you an overall cost of it. And if you have a bike like this, how you can do it too. Just wanna check out the chain. People are always commenting on chains. Your chain is too tight. It's not too tight. You should always have a link or two extra when it's in your lowest gear, your biggest gear. It's not too tight, trust me. This is the Schwinn Protocol. It's a full suspension bike. So there's a couple things that are kind of, you know, we had to do to this and that the customer wanted that I'm gonna go over, which is really cool because you could do this to any full suspension bike for the most part, as long as you have a decent amount of frame. So first of all, they just wanted a good commuter with, with uh, capabilities. So we, we added some stuff here. I wanna go over this. But first of all, I wanna talk about the elephant in the room. The owner of this bike came to me and was like, should I convert this bike? Is this bike worth converting? And that's a question I get asked a lot. And you know, Schwinn is kind of famous for having quality kind of all over the place. So it's a very valid question. Um, and I always try to tell people if they're trying to ask whether or not they should convert their bike is, you know, is it in good quality? Is it in good shape? And does it fit you? Or do you like the bike? When you're riding it, is it a good bike for you to ride? And is it gonna be safe? You know, this bike has decent components on it. It's got Shimano stuff, it had Shimano shifting and stuff. So the component wise, I felt like it was fine, but I always ask, does it fit you? And it is, in, is it in good shape? Does it break well? Does it shift well? Is the frame rusty? Is it gonna be able to hold up? And I told them, yes, this bike physically can accept a conversion kit. It's whether or not you want it. Do you like this bike enough to do that? And he said, yeah, I like this bike. It's fun to ride around. So I said, I think you should do it, but Ultimately, it's up to you. So we said, yeah, let's do it. But he's like, I want to turn this into a capable commuter. Full suspension bikes, you can't add a normal rack onto it because it needs three points of contact and this rear swing arm adjusts. So we went with the Topeak Tetra uh, universal rear rack that mounts to your uh, seat stays here. And all this stuff is available at johnnynerdout.com. I'll have it in the description below to direct links. If you're like, oh, where do you get that thing? Where do you get that, whatever. So anyways, I'm going from the back forward, I guess here. Let's do that. We put a complete light kit on here. This is the deluxe light kit. This one has turn signals in the rear, working brake lights. When you hit the brakes, it actually gets brighter, which I really like that. It's very safe. If you spend a lot of time on your bike, you want to have safety stuff like that. Um, it also has a very bright headlight and a tail light, running lights. This is like a 600 lumen headlight. I really like it. And it's got a super loud horn too, which is really good too, super safe. If you want a, a really good safety kit for your BBS kits, this is the kit to go. It plugs directly into your BBS kit. Super easy install, highly recommend it. Um, we got the rack, this is nice, holds up to like 26 pounds. So it'll, you could even mount a battery on here if you want, even like a jumbo shark, a giant one. Um, put the gear shift sensor in here. Went with the BBS02 750 watt motor. Went with the 44 tooth chain ring. He just wanted like a good all purpose. And if you're ever not sure which chain ring to go with, I usually say go with the 44 and then figure out if you need it to be geared higher or geared, geared lower. You know, if you're doing a lot of low speed hill climbing, you wanna get a smaller chain ring. If you're doing a lot of high speed pedaling cadence, get a bigger one. And then this is the new battery. This one just came out. This one was designed by Lecky, this new wedge shaped battery. It's got Samsung 50S cells in it, but you can see it's, it's shorter. So it'll fit in these small things. A normal shark battery is like this long and it would hit, it would hit here, it would hit here. We would have to go with either a saddlebag or mount a battery here. But with this wedge battery, we could fit this inside the frame now. So this is awesome and it does not hit. That shock does not hit which is awesome. I know a lot of people are like, well, what about your shock when it compresses? Not gonna happen. He wanted just a super basic install. So we replaced the, re the left lever with a brake cutoff. And with the right, it has an integrated brake and shifter unit. So we put an inline brake cutoff sensor in it. You could just do that if you want to. If you have integrated brake and shift levers, just get an inline brake sensor. You don't have to replace it. And I think that's pretty much it. There wasn't a whole lot to this. It's a standard 68 to 73 millimeter bottom bracket. We went with the 600C display. This is the new pre uh, 
successor, not the predecessor, successor to the 500C. It just brings it into 2024, I think. It's a little bit higher res display than the 500C. And I like this one. This one is my new go-to, the 600C display. Um, and we've got a throttle here next to it. Yeah, and the, the other good thing about this motor, highly programmable, it's highly tunable. If you don't like a setting of it, change it. If you have a pre-made e-bike, those are the settings. You're stuck with it. If you don't like how, if you don't like how it takes off too fast, sorry, you're stuck with it. If you don't like anything how this motor performs, change it. That's what's awesome about these kits. All right, thanks for tuning in, guys. We're not gonna do a performance test because it's raining and muddy and just all that. Uh, so unfortunately, can't do it. Head to johnnynerdout.com for all your questions and components and help. Take it easy, guys, thanks. This one I would say, you know, and I always give the people, I always, uh, <clears throat> oh my God, get out of here, dude. Get out of here.